Hey Mojoholics, welcome back to What's Your Mojo, the weekly show where we fill you in on what you might have missed last week, give you a sneak peek on what's coming up next week, ask your feedback, and answer viewer FAQs. No time wasting this week though. Start your engines and here we go. In case you missed it, this week we published a duo of clips about movies based on TV shows, both the good and the bad. And let me tell you, the disparity between the best and the worst is huge. We're talking Star Trek reboots versus Wild Wild West huge. So if you want to rip on some terrible movies, or if you want to marvel at some great ones, check it out. We also published a much requested and much needed redux of our top 10 Matthew McConaughey performances list, since we published it in 2012 before he made all his good movies. And honestly, I've never seen a clip in worse need of a redux, because as hilarious as he is in Dazed and Confused, I'm not sure all right, all right, all right is what he wants as his legacy. All right, all right, all right. Now that springtime is finally upon us, sorta, what better way to spend your time than inside watching a Watch Mojo marathon? And for all you anime fans out there who are so vocal in the comments and on the suggest page, we're giving you yet another anime list to keep you occupied and arguing. On Sunday, you can expect to see top 10 anime battles. That's where you'll find Super Saiyans and homunculi and every other kind of anime badass you can think of fighting it out. And if that's not your thing, check out top 10 new songs on Saturday. Just because I like Muse. Time for the Jeopardy! No, but seriously, it's trivia time. Let's do it. Okay, what movie features a drug lord played by Christopher Walken? Scarface, King of New York, Blow, or New Jack City? You are correct if you said King of New York. And if you like watching Christopher Walken dance, you will not be disappointed. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> April 20th is 420, which, as you probably already know, is a counterculture holiday that celebrates cannabis. Translation, it's like Pothead's Christmas. Not that we condone that kind of thing, wink wink, but if you are into all things weed, we have a few videos that might interest you. Check out Top 10 Stoner Comedies, Top 10 Stoner Scenes in Film, and Top 10 Movie Drug Dealers. And if you want to scare yourself straight, watch Top 10 Celebrity Train Wrecks to see what drugs can do to you. Stay in school, kids. People say it's lonely at the top, but I sure like the view. We have some lists in need of your input this week. First up, who doesn't love a good Bond, babe, am I right? Double crossing, sexy names, bikinis, they're awesome. We did a clip on the hottest Bond babes back in the day, but we would like to update it for the now. So we need to know your opinions first. Are you guys Halle Berry fans or Ursula Andress? We're also plugging away at the top 10 hilarious slow motion movie scenes. So if you'd rather see the RV crash from Anchorman 2 than the Ramona vs. Roxy fight from Scott Pilgrim, then get to voting. But remember, hilarious entries only. We're also finally getting to work on the highly requested top 10 creepypastas list. Creepypastas are basically like internet urban legends that make the rounds scaring the shiznit out of people with stories of killers and haunted video game cartridges and whatever. If that's of interest to you, head over to watchmojo.com slash suggest to let us know what you think. And while you're there, make sure to vote on any other lists you might have an opinion on. Hey guys, we're back at the viewer FAQ section, where inquiring minds who want to know are vaguely satisfied by our answers to their questions. With me as always is Dan. Yo. All right, we've got lots to get to this week, but before we start, I will say, we will be telling you what happened to Dan's hand. And no, I didn't do it. And no, it doesn't have anything to do with fapping, contrary to what last week's commenters might think. Uh, I'm right-handed, by the way. But before we get to that, we've actually got a real question. Nathan Zara asks, what do you guys think is better, The Godfather Part 1 or The Godfather Part 2? Because you guys say that this movie is better in one movie while you say it is better in the other. Example, the top 10 movies of all time and top 10 mafia movies. So, basically, why do some of our lists seem to contradict themselves? Good question. Well, first, to answer your query about The Godfather, our favorite's actually part three. She's, she's kidding. Okay, seriously. 
Some of you noticed that we featured The Godfather Part 1 on our Best Movies of All Time series, but we did not feature Part 2 on the list. And on our Top 10 Mafia Movies list, we feature Part 2 and not Part 1. So while that might not seem to make a lot of sense on the surface, it basically comes down to criteria. While one movie might be better overall, another movie might fit our list better based on the criteria we've laid out. Yeah, so when The Godfather was released, it was revolutionary in terms of videography and how it presented the Mafia. But in terms of actual Mafia movies, The Godfather Part 2 showcases more of the business behind La Cosa Nostra and the struggle to stay on top when law enforcement and rival factions are gunning for you. Exactly. All right, we've done that one justice, so now it's time to check out how creative you guys are. So we waded through all of the comments last week checking out your theories as to what happened to my hand. And while I do promise to tell you what really happened, we're gonna read a few of your epic responses and we hope you're not gonna be too disappointed by what really happened. Yeah, we basically gave you guys free reign to come up with some Watch Mojo fan fiction, but that's cool, we dig it. Okay, on to some of our faves. Here's Dallas Flett's guess. I'm guessing Dan got in a lightsaber duel with Darth Vader and got maimed. After that, Dan finds out that Darth Vader's his father. Yeah, I wish. Anyway, I liked the Davidius Maximus's theory. I'm thinking you tried to go Ninja Turtles and bond your fingers together so you would have a tri-digit hand. A fine effort, sir. Looking forward to seeing how it comes out. You don't, you don't think that would work, do you? I do not. Okay, Deftonius thinks he's got us pegged. Watch Mojo is based in Montreal. So, obviously, Dan was with a bunch of people that were way too excited about the Montreal Canadiens locking a playoff spot that a riot ensued, keeping with the Montreal tradition of win or lose, riot. While that last part is true, I'm a way bigger hockey fan than Dan. Fact. Okay, I got another one. I suck, or is thinks that I punched the shit out of a guy who talked bad about Rebecca. They are tight like that. That's, uh, that's cute, but uh, Rebecca can take care of herself. And don't you forget it. All right, time for one last funny one before we get to the real answer. The bodacious bum wrote a novel. As per usual, Dan and Rebecca were preparing dinner for the WatchMojo family. Dan was feeling especially rambunctious on this particular evening, which distressed Rebecca. That is not in any way an efficient means of chopping carrots, Rebecca cried. A knife fight ensued, and was reminiscent of the climax of 1985's Commando. It goes on like that for a while, but it is worth the read. Yeah. Anyway, while there were a lot of hilarious suggestions and theories, most of them insinuating a masturbation accident, we can't read them all here. But a few of you actually did come relatively close. The first person to suggest a tendon problem was Ant Jam Yogi, and the first person to suggest that it was caused by broken glass was Hive Mind. Both of you guys are getting t-shirts, so email us via YouTube with your name, size, and address, and we'll get back to you ASAP. But tell them what happened. Right. Okay, so I was reaching for a glass in a cupboard. I knocked a second glass out as I pulled it out, and they broke midair and the broken glass split my ring finger open like a pomegranate. I had to get surgery to reattach my tendon, artery, and nerve. Yeah, I should not have laughed last week. Uh, I was there and I saw it, and it was the bloodiest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. But you're okay now, right? Yeah, not so bad. Anyway, I'm sorry if that was anticlimactic, but you know. So thank you for all your concern, sympathy, and suggestions. But those of you that didn't win this week, Remember, we're going to have a lot more giveaways in the future, so please stay tuned. And as always, if you want your questions answered, hit us here in the comments, check us out on Facebook or Twitter, or email us at watch at watchmojo.com. And don't forget the hashtag WMFAQ. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching, and tune in again next week for another edition of What's Your Mojo? Seacrest out. <laughs>